And you've just heard Worries from the album Someday, the new release from Swiss Portrait. In fact, it's the opening track. And I'm so pleased to be joined by the man behind Swiss Portrait, Michael K. Terence. Hello, Michael. Hello, Ali. How are you? I'm really well. So, big question to start with. What can you tell us about the new album? Um, well, it's my technically my third one. Mm. Uh, well, it is my third one. It's not technically. It is my third one. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, um, I wrote it all this year. Um, took I did it over the summer. Um, it's uh, more, I've looked, I went, I've gone back a little bit what I think, I'll, I'll get your opinion on obviously as well. But um, I think it was more reminiscent of my first one, Familiar Patterns, rather mm. than the last one called Crippling Pain, Happiness. Um, yeah, it was, it's just a more dreamy, indie sort of sounding. And uh, yeah, it was just um, it's the most songs I've ever put in an album as well. I've got 10 in it. I usually only do eight, but I, I managed somehow to do 10, which is a miracle. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, it was all recorded uh written and um produced right where I'm sitting right now on the computer I'm talking to you on. Yeah. Did it all right here and then um with the guitars behind me. <laughs> no, no, it is all you. That I mean everything's you. I was gonna ask you that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's all me. Um not because I don't want other people involved. It's just um just because of pure ease. Yeah. Like um um I uh I have like a yeah, is this is this easy? Because I obviously I have like a normal human job, like yeah. a normal everyday job, and like, and so do all my bandmates, and like, we just can we can start making it's hard enough at times to get band practices <laughs> than it is to get like uh, uh, things. But no, it was started during lockdown, um, because obviously I was a before lockdown I was a contemporary artist and I worked into uh, sculpture and video art. And then obviously had had a couple of shows um, cancelled um, due to COVID. One of them was going to be at the National Galleries, which would have been a big, big deal. And I was quite excited, but it's been put on permanent hiatus. And so, yeah, I started, I got bored and I used to make music before, when I was in art school, but never really anything that was like this. And then, yeah, just learned everything from YouTube and started making songs. So, that's why it's me, because it started off that way, and yeah. So it and was it all... necessity to begin with, but actually you found that it works for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this, is, this, is this easy? I think I know what I really want it to sound like. Yeah. I think that's that's it. Like, um, uh, and I can, you're always your own. Sometimes it might be quite good to try and work. Uh, well, I think in the future we're, with the boys in the band, we're going to try and do some songs together. But it might might take longer to make something, yeah, which will be fine. But um, um, but yeah, I think sometimes it's just easier to because you, you, I'm always my own like harshest critic. I'll sit there and like um, not just like spend so much time like a three minute song. I know some people take weeks to do three minute songs, but like three minute song can take just takes hours <laughs> I'm like I'm sitting there going like why is it taking this long and then um, um it's a uh, so yeah it's it's it's, it's, it's just um yeah just, just because I enjoy it as well it's really fun yeah. yeah because I know that when you when you play live um it is a band that you've got with you isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The, the, they are the band they like it won't I had changed over the years a few times, but it's been this the same people now for quite a long time. Most of the time, the other people that were in them were in other bands, mm. and um, they were um, really just helping helping me out, and mm. I was always really grateful for them to do that. And then, um, and they enjoyed it as well. And then, but some of them. That most of them have gone off to do really good stuff as well now, so it's it's really good that they've all done things. Maybe what they're more into as well, but I'm not. I'm not sure. But <laughs> but um, no, it was it's all it's always been really good fun uh, having people. But no, the people um, James, Rowan, and Paul are now the who are all the people playing the band, and they've been in the band now for the longest. So yeah. So it's, sometimes it's like funny because like you'll see there'll be pictures 
online and I'll see like there's like a different there's a whole different lineup and I'm like oh my god <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's quite a bit. I was like I forgot even about that <laughs> but it's like captured in time now with this like photograph but yeah yeah I don't think I've ever asked this question but I thought why not ask Michael? How does it all come together from when you're thinking about an album, from the decision that you're going to make new music to release? How what's the process like? Um, well, I'll I'll be super honest. Well, I'll tell you from the first one as well. The first one's probably the funniest, the, the most interesting, and also funniest. So I I I started making the music, and I was just putting it out in Spotify because I figured out I could do it myself. Mm -hmm. on Spotify using like your own distributor and I was like oh that's amazing so I just started doing that and then like I would send it to some like blogs and there was a blog online um called Star Track which is uh like it does all like lo-fi dreamy pop dream pop sort of music the stuff that I make yeah. and the guy the guy that um uh runs that is a guy called Philip and he really liked the music and he also has like a DIY label at the time it was called Z Tapes. He's now actually called it um Start Track, but um instead, but it was called Z Tapes and he went to me, Do you want to release a cassette? And I was like, Okay. <laughs> and uh, um we can you can release an album and I was like, Well it might take me a wee while to make it and he's like, That's fine. And I was like, and that was the reason the first time that I was going to make an album was because someone asked me to. <laughs> and and uh, because I was just going to release songs every now and then. Yeah. And just because it wasn't really, it was still, I was still looking at it more like an art project. Um, but since then, it's more, um, it is, it's like from the first song that I made this year was a song called Talk, which is on mm -hmm. the album. And um, it really comes from it's like an inspiration from one song and then being like oh I like this and I want to try and play with this sort of sound a wee bit more and I go off and do that um, so that's really that's really the process it's just more like a creative need to make yeah, and and it's 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 not like it's like a necessity and I've, st I've still got this sort of thin where I think it's more like a contemporary art than rather than a, a musical thing where like you I don't I might be completely wrong but like um from the other music people I've spoken to they say like because they always go you've released quite a lot of music and stuff like that and um it's literally because when you're finished making the work you're just like oh what can I do now yeah and it's just like um and like obviously the album came out as an like can I say this came out today oh. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, as we are, as we are talking uh, here today yeah yeah I'm like uh, I'm now like thinking oh um maybe in February I could have like six tracks done that will be good <laughs> and I'll be like uh, so that's like it's just like a creative need and like uh, an excitement of uh, making new things naturally it that's interesting that's one of my questions was have you um I know the album is out can you relax or are you already thinking about what's coming next? I, I, I've, I've been, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking an enforced break of at least a month um, because I've hurt my throat quite a lot. And um, uh, and I, I can't really sing right now. And um, uh, so I'm trying to have a little break of uh, not singing. And then uh, I have a wee gap, and then I'll see. I'll give it. I'll probably start stuff again, and what's well, going to be November in like five days? So, yeah, November. <laughs> probably. So does that kind of put any plans of playing the album live? Where are you planning to play it live, or is that? Uh, not, not... Yeah, we are. Yeah, we'll play it. Play it live. Um, well. It will probably not be played live from start to finish. We'll no. just select songs from it, obviously. And um, uh, but no, um, four of them are in the set already that we've been mm. um, playing. And then, um, but no, we we have like um, we have a tour. Oh, I can tell you, it'd probably it'd be alright to tell you um, that we have a tour that we're going to be doing in um, next year. 
uh, in the early start of next year. And then um, we're hoping I, to do go to America because we get all asked quite a lot to go to America because there's quite the, the listenership is really quite a lot of it is in America. And um, I get asked quite a lot to go. So we're, we're hoping to do that like, uh, next year one way or the other but um so um but yeah we're, there's a, a uk tour we did uh that we'll be doing uh in the middle of next year so that'll be exciting sure. and then hopefully we get to play some just i quite like just doing some like support shows as well with some bands and things like that so we'll just just see what um just see what comes but i don't have a manager or anything like that so it's literally what uh gets thrown away <laughs> like uh so it's uh, it's, uh, it's all like um, yeah ad hoc sort of stuff. <laughs> you just have to look after your vocal cords then, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm I'm really interested in your sound and the influences on it. You know, you've mentioned the term dream pop, and that's exactly how I would describe it as well. <laughs> um, and I'm I'm a big fan of that kind of music. Who are your influences? Who's influenced the kind of sound of Swiss Portrait? It is like difficult to say, um, because I listen to a lot of music, yeah. uh, and um, so there's a band that I really love. I've uh, got Far Caspian, for right. an Irish band. Okay, and um, and I listen to them a lot, and you can definitely hear influences from them. But at the beginning, it was more just. When I was making the songs, I didn't really. I was just making them. So, right, okay. There's a song by a band, you know, Falls, the uh, Falls. Yes. Yeah, they have a song called Spanish Sahara. Mm-hmm. You know that sort of like openness to the song. Yeah. I totally fell in love with that, and I was like, "That's kind of like what I really liked and what I was really interested in." And then that took me down the rabbit hole of finding out about dream pop and things like that. Um, and then obviously, like, I got more into all the bands, like every band. Like, you can hear influences from, like, things like The Cure, obviously, like that. And then, um, but then yeah, there's also, there's modern, there's, like, newer bands, like, there's a band called Turnover from America that I like, and there's another band called Beach Fossils that I really like, um, who, but I don't know if you can really hear the influences in it. It's because I was thinking about um dream pop bands that I kind of knew it, like Cocktail Twins. But yeah, Cocktail Twins and uh, yeah, uh, people say Cocktail Twins quite Marcy a lot. Star and uh, you know yeah. that kind of thing. Um the, the label four AD kind of had a lot of folk like that on it. But um often there was a darkness to a goth kind of side you mentioned the cure uh, you know there's yeah. a kind of goth even at the apopiest which I love yeah. the cure at their poppiest. And I think what you do yeah. as well, there's a there's unashamedly pop there, isn't there? There's no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah which sure. I love, absolutely love. I was listening, because, you know, the cure at the moment, new album out, so I've been listening to a lot of the old stuff. And the album Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, which is perhaps their poppiest, it's just a fantastic record. Yeah. Um, so I just, that's interesting as well, because a lot of the stuff, Cocteau Twins, um, a lot of the 4AD stuff, um, yeah, there's that kind of gothier, darker, almost kind of slower side to it than, than perhaps what you're doing. So I think it's really yeah. interesting that you've got the influence that you've mentioned, but you've absolutely made it your own sound. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it's like, I, I didn't, it's like, it's hard. I don't really want to just, because I could easily make things that are like really reminiscent of those kind of things. But I, I like, um. I just don't want to. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the best answer you could possibly give. And I don't think anyone should expect it. I just, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, yeah. um, it's dream pop, but it's 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 pop as well. You know, that's the, yeah. that's the thing about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's definitely pop and it's dream. It, it's, yeah, it lives in that sort of like vague area. I think um, like that... Um, the band that I that I like, he, Far Caspian, you 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 will probably hear influences from them, and um, but uh, 
Um, but yeah, exactly. Basically, just wanted to try and make it my own. <laughs> you have absolutely done. And it's interesting, I agree with you, that it does kind of hark back to your first album. When I first heard your music and you think, oh yeah, this is definitely a Swiss portrait yeah. album. From, yeah. from the track Worries, from the very first track. Yeah. And then, you know, and if people enjoyed that and we're going to play Lifeboat in a moment and then they enjoy that, they'll love the album because, you know, yeah. the sound runs, runs through it. And I'm interested, we're talking on the day after the Scottish Album of the Year Award kind of uh, came out. And what do you think about such kind of awards and things or do you even think about them at all? Um, well, I, I'll, if, they probably won't listen, but congratulations to Redlin. Um, Andy, who... Play as a drummer. He used to play drums with me. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. um, yeah. So he um, and Andy, but he, that was his band when he was from when he was growing up. So he was in that band whilst he was playing live with me. But um, uh, no, I, I it's, it's a weird one because I don't really. It's the same with an art because you look at it from a perspective of like you can't really measure. Yeah. Um, right. These sort of things, and I don't. I don't, I'm not. There's obviously like. I, I wouldn't snuff it because you win twenty grand. <laughs> like, uh, but like, um, I, I would, I don't think you can really measure these things. It's more. It's very different. I, yeah, it's it's different, and it's super subjective as well. Um, uh, I think um, all of the people that were nominated were could have won it. They're they're all they're all all like very different as well, and um, so they're all like really good but I think um, if, I, if I take out the people who were nominated and just talk about it as if it was in, like objectively uh, I'm not I'm I'm not so sure if it's like a a thing that you should try and measure yourself against um, I used to think when it, before I kind of got you know involved in kind of it, I used to think that as well but now I think it throws light on so many people that would not perhaps got attention otherwise I think that's yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I I really love the eligible album stage where anyone can say, "Have you heard that? Heard that?" Because I, I discover so much yeah. new music there. But I, I, I it's a, it is a, a a tricky thing, and I think in the art world, similarly, you know, you've got the big prizes that can change people's careers. Yeah. But, you know, the, the, the big the big ones are usually all like just let's say uh, pre pre predetermined. <laughs> <laughs> they're all sewn up is that what you're saying yeah, yeah. Well, I, oh, I, I, I can oh, tell people that is not the case with the, the say award oh um, no 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 I'm not I'm not saying that whatsoever no no, no. no yeah. um, but um, no I, I think uh, yeah all the the ones there have done like amazing and uh, yeah it, it, I'm really chuffed for Andy and his band because um, he worked really hard to do it for such a long time um, and uh yeah, they've had like a really big year and a and, and a different year from what they've had before. So it was a uh, yeah. I don't really know the other ones at all, but I I, I like um but um but no um the they they seem like a really nice bunch of boys and they've made they've made a sound that's really unique to them as well, which is cool. I think for all those reasons you mentioned, they're really worthy winners. Like oh yeah. Yeah, Going back yeah. to your old album, your own album, it's I I'm, I've been I told you before we started recording, listening to it over the last few days, and I knew I would like it, and I do absolutely love it. Michael, Thank thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me, and um, all the best with the album. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. It means a lot. And this is Swiss Portrait and Lifeboat. <laughs> 